Hello guys, got Christian out here again with essentially the last episode of Let's Play Curbing in the Amazing Year. As you see, I have 100%. And this is the extra video, so I'm going to be doing extra stuff, starting with the sub games that are accessible from the menu and only from the menu. We're going to start with Speed Eaters. When you see the exclamation point, press A. And I'm going to start at level 1 because I suck. So basically, this is one of those uh, reaction time things. Ha! -ha. If you press too early, you cannot eat anything, and, you know, you can't press too late because you won't get any apples. Rawr! Oh yeah, see, I just owned that up. <laughs> I'm a full little Kirby, and yeah, your placement depends on how much you've eaten. And let's, uh, alright, let's feel, I feel a little risky today. Let's go for level 3. Holy crap! Not even a chance, okay. Alright, gotta be super careful on this. <laughs> oh, I forgot. If you eat bombs in this game, you get incapacitated for a single turn. A cruel little fact that Yellow Kirby learned the hard way. <laughs> ah, that was funny. Ah, ah damn it. Alright, sorry, yeah. I suck. <laughs> okay, enough of that game. So yeah, it, it, it sucks though. I mean, you want to be fast, but you don't want to get those bombs at the same time. Okay, crackety hack. Uh, press A to power up and then aim for the thing. Uh, let's try level 2. Okay, so this is kind of similar to that one power up game at the uh, Superstar, I believe. You press A for whatever power you want and the more and... Okay, I screwed that up. Oops! So yeah, basically it's just like that one mini game from uh, Superstar where you power up and then you aim the little crosshair thing and yeah, I failed miserably there. Alright, let's try and redeem myself. Go to level 1. Okay, so let's try this again. Ha! Ah, I like how Red Kirby has like a different colored sash, but I guess he has to since ours is already red. Ah, oh, there we go. That should do a lot better. Oh yeah, I won. I actually would have beaten the level 2 guys too, oh man. Yay, I'm on no winner circle. <laughs> okay, so, one more. I'm, I'm getting through these pretty quickly, aren't I? Alright, here's the last one. Kirby Wave Race. Press A to jump. Time jumps for speed bursts. Let's go with level 1. Yeah. So, Wave Burst is a... Uh, well, it's kind of a new game, I suppose. What you do is you press A um, at the ideal time on these waves, and I'm not really doing good right now, I guess. And uh, the better uh, time you get, the faster Kirby goes. So, green Kirby is really raping it up right now, I guess. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Mm. All right, excellent. Yeah. Okay, why is that not working? I'm pressing A. All right, there we go. Great, great, good, excellent, good. Alright, what the hell? That wasn't working. Okay, there we go. Yay, I win. First try. And I'm guessing that the higher levels just mean, like, um... Uh, they're probably obstacles, too, but... Yeah. I'm actually kind of done with this. <laughs> I don't want to chance it. And then the last sub-game already... One you get when you unlock, when you get 100% is Boss Endurance, and I'm actually not going to do that. <laughs> uh, for the purposes of LP, I really don't have to, but yeah. Okay, I figure I might as well describe this before I, you know, toss it on the curb. This is basically just like the arena in Kirby Superstar. You start out in that uh, golden copy pedestal room that you unlock when you get all the doors, so you can get any abilities besides UFO and Master. You have zero lives, so once you die, you die. But you get all ten vitality points. You defeat all the bosses and the mini-bosses in a round basis, and in between battles, you get access to four one-time use tomatoes and two random copy abilities. Okay, so now that we're done with sub-games, very quickly, the all-long-awaited collection room. You see all the things I've collected over my course of the Mirror World LP. These uh, things in the upper left corner are spray paints. Uh, if you want to color your Kirby differently, there you go. Uh, if you use one of these, then when you power up the main quest, then whatever color you use on your spray paint, you get, yeah, 
Yeah, you use it in the game. So yeah, I'm showing off all the colors here. There's grape. An emerald, I remember that was a pain to get. Orange, chocolate, and cherry. And chalk. And uh, yeah, let's put on cherry. I'll, I'll show that off, I guess. Uh, upper right corner is all the score sheets that we got over the course of the game. Which are useless unless you get the sound player. So, but you see like all the types of songs and notes and sounds you get. Uh, upper, uh, down, no, lower right corner is all the maps for the game, so all oh, that's what you know. And then the bottom left is your four vitalities, and then the sound player, which we got from Candy Constellation. Now, when you press A, you can listen to all the music that you've gotten, provided you got the score for it. So, yeah, you can hear all the different songs here. Oh, there we go, Rash Ruins, yay! I like that song. Let's see, it goes to 0 to 41. Ah, crap. Alright. Now that's probably the song that you get when you beat Boss Endurance. That's what I'm guessing. Alright, I said that. And then you get all the sounds. There are a crap load of sounds too, so... Let's see, uh, it goes up to 377. Holy crap. Wow, that is, that is quite a lot of sounds. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just, you know... Basically, one of the sound test things come in here if you ever want to play around with songs and stuff in this game. Yeah. So, there's really only one other thing that I have left to show, I guess. Um, yeah. So, let's boot up the game. So, like I said, I used this phrase, phrase, and I'm Terry Kirby! And, when you touch this pedestal, you get instant access to the Master Sword. So, yeah, Master Sword. <laughs> Nintendo thing. Almighty Sword can be used in all puzzles. So yeah. Yeah, just showing off some of the moves right here. The dreaded spiral move and all that. So yeah, um, if you ever lose the master ability anywhere in Mirror World, just come back to this room here and then pick it up off the pedestal and you get the thing, so. So yeah, just, you know, this is a good road to experiment. And the Master Sword is a great great ability to get like those treasure chests that you just can't get sometimes so if you need a puzzle that needs solving the master sword is definitely the way to go right and that pretty much puts a wrap on this let's play i hope you all enjoyed it specifically because this is the one that all of you voted on <laughs> yeah if you remember this is we decided back on when i got 500 subscribers and now 1100 subscribers later yeah, this project's finally over. Pretty short project, which is nice. I kind of like short projects every now and then, especially since Pokemon's going to be a while. Um, speaking of which, I am not going to be starting any new projects until after Pokemon is finished. Uh, mainly because uh, doing two projects at once can be a bit of a hassle, and yeah, I need to focus more on Pokemon. Um, so yeah, so expect nothing new out of me until Yellow is finished. And of which, yeah, I'm for the rest of the summer, I'll just be putting up that. Yeah, just basically wanted to say that. So yeah, this is Guy Question 9, and this has been Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. I hope you had a good time watching this. I had a good time LPing this game. Once and for all, see you later.